Oh, hello. Happy New Year. It's uh, the season of Epiphany. Welcome to our church service this morning. You may see behind me the tradition of chalking the door, which we do at the start of Epiphany. And uh, I think it's a wonderful tradition. And you can see the person who lived in the house before me, they will have done it as well. Uh, you'll see the, the figures responding to representing the year 20 and 21 and the three um, letters C and B either being the uh, traditional names of the three wise men Caspar, Melchior, Balthasar and uh, also responding to the Latin for Christus Mansium Benedictat Christ bless this house, Lord bless this house. So it's a lovely uh, prayer to have over your home. If you want some chalk, please do contact me. And the collect for today. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We stand at the beginning of a brand new year with all its hopes and dreams and potential. It seems to me that last year was a year of endings, a year which began with the same potential as this year and every other, but turned out to be different in every way. We saw the end of life as we know it. Some say it was the end of democracy and with it our freedom. The end of our holidays, our hugs, our dinners with friends and family. The end of our ability to make choices and to live life in the way that we want to. Our ability to meet together for worship ended and then changed significantly. We lost loved ones whose lives ended in tragic circumstances and we were unable to mourn in the way we would want to. And yet, there were new things to think about. 
we began to find new ways of keeping in touch with other with each other who knew that zoom could be a lifesaver we began to wear masks to consider the health and well-being of others to live life mindfully we began to not take life for granted we began to smell the roses and the coffee in our own gardens our own kitchens we began a new way this new way will not last forever life will return to some kind of normality but it will be different from the old one and that difference will be unique to each of us in our gospel reading today jesus arrives at the jordan asking john for baptism coming up out of the waters suddenly the heavens were open to him and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and alighting on him and a voice from heaven said this is my son the beloved with whom i am well pleased heaven and earth are brought together in this instant and Christ is revealed before our very eyes. His mission and ministry become crystal clear. John preached a baptism of repentance. This baptism was an outward and visible sign of a new beginning, a new attitude to life and a new way of living. Jesus does not need to repent. But by showing his baptism by John, the gospel writers show Jesus doing what God in Christ always does. Stands by us and with us. Jesus' baptism was a sign of a new beginning, a new ministry, and evidence that Jesus was and is the expected Messiah. In our own baptism, whenever that was, we also began a new way we began a journey of discovery and along the way perhaps we came to see jesus as our own new light sometimes we need to stand back from things to really understand them to see them in their true perspective one of the effects of the pandemic has been to cause many of us to stand back and think about our lives if this terrible tragedy causes us as individuals and the nations of the world to stand back from our own personal and national interests and realize that we are part of one world and that we should live in love and compassion for each other as children of God and brothers and sisters, then something of great value will have come out of it. And that will truly be a new beginning. And there is hope. I end this reflection with a version of the Methodist Covenant Prayer as a way of looking forward to the new year ahead and dedicating ourselves in hope to the God who loves us and stands by us in every circumstance. I am no longer my own, but yours. Your will not mine be done in all things wherever you may place me in all that i do and in all that i may endure when there is work for me and when there is none when i am troubled and when i am at peace your will be done when i am valued and when i am disregarded when i find fulfillment and when it is lacking when I have all things and when I have nothing. I willingly offer all I have and am to serve you as and where you choose. Glorious and blessed God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours. May it be so forever. Let this covenant now made on earth be fulfilled in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen.
Father God, our prayers today come from hearts filled with a mixture of hope and despondency. We pray with thanks for the genius of those who have worked miracles with vaccines to defeat a virus that has changed our world. And we pray with sorrow for victims of the terrible violence seen as a way to bring about change. We pray for you to show us the way through the power of your Holy Spirit for a positive way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your church and the leaders that we are blessed with. Adrian, Matthew, Stephen, Afro, Janet and Fiona. We pray for our PCC and all those working to keep our witness and worship alive online. We pray for those who can't access worship during these difficult times and ask that they feel your blessing and comfort surround them in their homes, knowing they are not forgotten. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who are unwell at this time, whether with COVID or other illness. We pray for all the doctors, nurses and carers who are doing their utmost to relieve people's suffering. We pray that they find the strength to endure when they are so tired. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who have recently passed away. We pray for them as they now find peace after pain. We pray for those claimed by the biology of COVID and disease and for those claimed by human acts of violence and neglect. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. John baptised believers with water. Jesus baptised with the Holy Spirit. We pray that in this new year, we will feel anew the power of the Holy Spirit at work to defeat the power of darkness that threatens and to let the genius of humanity prevail and conquer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our final blessing. May God the Holy Spirit, who came upon the beloved Son at his baptism in the River Jordan, pour out his gifts on you, who have come to the waters of new birth. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and stay safe.